What's going on? It's the All Facts No Cap Podcast here, and I'm your host, Horace Vicar. Make sure if you have if you haven't checked out my previous episodes, make sure you check that out. And today I'm also here with another special guest. And care to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name's Harun. Uh, yeah, hi. Let's see. How's it? How's it going? You know? Yeah, everything's good, man. Everything's good. Yeah, how's uh how's the new uh, quad master thing, man? My quad master is pretty good, actually. Uh, I have physics with Mr. Volick. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I told you. I know. I told you about him. Remember that? Yeah, Mr. Volick's actually like really nice. Yeah. Bro, I, okay. For if, if I, don't, I don't know if anyone's listening, but I'm assuming the person who's watching this or listening to this probably knows what a quad master is if they live around here. But if you don't. A quad semester is kind of like a semester part two. Like there's, you do two courses for two months because there's four months in a semester in our school, and then in two months we learn two courses, and the two months we can learn other, other two cor- another two courses. Can we just talk about school for a minute? Schools become a prison, in all honesty. Yes, yeah, it has been. Yes, yes, it has. You been. don't. You don't talk to people. You just walk in. You listen to the teacher talk forever. Alhamdulillah, we're like in at home right now, because going to school is hell. Yeah, and, and that's, that's honestly, honestly like the, the worst. That's, that's that's not even like, like the worst thing. thing. The, like it's, it's kind of like, like, like the worst, worst thing. thing. You know how, but in school, in school when we went before, right? Like getting up was like the hardest thing. Was like the hardest thing, right? But now, yeah. it, going to school is like and just sitting there is the hardest thing. Oh, actually, do you want to know what's hell? I'll tell you what's hell, right? When you have to cough in class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. Because, like, actually, you no, know, but I never really had a problem with it. Like, even when I coughed in class, I would no one would just pay attention. Where do you go in class? I swear, I had chemistry, right? And I coughed in class, and everyone just turned around and started staring at me. Like, they interrupted Mr. Montgomery's list. It was so awkward. <laughs> wait, 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 when, when, was, when was, was this? this? If this was the first quad semester, then that would make sense. It was, it was the first quad semester. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense because people were just so paranoid. paranoid. I swear, I was so, like, I was, I never oh, coughed again. Even, I even if I had to cough. Even if you have to cough, you just hold it in until you leave school. <laughs> can, can you hold in a cough? That's kind of... That's kind of not impossible, but I don't think you can hold in a cough. You can hold in a cough, but uh, it's really difficult. Yeah. And it, it requires a lot of energy. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. So, so speaking, speaking speaking of the corona, the C virus, I always like to call it the C virus. So, why is that? Have you seen? Why? why? I don't wait, know. Wait, just, why, do you... why do I like to call it the C virus? Yeah. I don't know, it just has a nice tone to it. Like, yo, you got the C virus. <laughs> uh, are you trying to not know. face any legality issues? Because Corona, the drink company is after you, you know? Yeah, that was no, that was, that was in the beginning, yeah. American too. Didn't they try to, didn't they try to change it to Bud Light virus when uh, it first started? I think they so. They wanted to rename, they wanted to rename the disease to like their direct competitors. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna Anyways, say. Anyways, yeah. Oh yeah, I would know. Yes, I was gonna. So talking about the C virus, right? So, have you have you seen like the vaccinate, like how the world's doing with the vaccines and stuff, right? And how Canada's kind of like far, not far behind, but they have way more than. Like, what's your thoughts on, on like what Doug Ford and everyone is doing? I think here's the thing with Trudeau, right? Trudeau, like. I'm talking about Doug Ford. I'm I'm talking about Ontario, then we'll move to Canada later on. I'm talking about Ontario right now. All right, all right. Well, Doug Ford, he's doing the same thing over and over again. He's, it's like, uh, what's the saying? Insanity is when you repeat the same thing, hoping something different happens. Yeah, that's kind of what Doug Ford's doing. We Mm, tried the lockdowns and they're not working. We need a new approach. It's It's not really that it's just not working. It's just people are just not listening and just keep on going outside and spreading the cause, right? Uh, From Doug Ford's own words, he said statistically like one third of Ontarians aren't following it. Wait, did you see the 
the uh, was, was it a conference or no, no it wasn't it a conference it was like the interview where he was like crying i heard of it but i didn't see it yeah i didn't see it either i know uh, my mom and uh, my mom saw it and she said and she said she felt bad for him and i was just sitting there like yo he cried good for him <laughs> low-key i think doug ford gets a bad rep dude Honestly, yeah, yeah. I feel like sometimes people are just like take, taking it way too hard on him. It's like, yo, there's really nothing he can really do. It's because his brother did crack, dude. That's why. Yeah, man. I saw, <laughs> I saw on, I saw on TikTok like a long time ago. Just, just someone was just making a shot at that family. He's just like, oh, yo, the dog for you so stupid. No wonder why your brother did crack. That makes. <laughs> Bro, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you the video when I have to. But anyone that heard it, like I don't know. I don't know how to send the video. It's just something I found on TikTok. I, I have, wait. Let me. Uh, do you mind if I stream on the during the call? Yes. Can we plan this out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. Send yeah, Now talk about Canada. Oh wait. What's happening? Uh, I, I'm streaming. My bad. Oh, you're playing a game. Okay. Yeah. Say wait, what's it? Sage one? Yes. Sage one. I think yeah, did you tell me about it? Like yo, what's so good about this game? Uh, oh wait, what is this game called? Wait, wait. It's uh, Devil May Cry five. It Devil trust May me, Cry. the the game is much less edgier than the name implies. Yeah, that makes more sense. But, uh, oh yeah, so yeah, I was gonna talk. Yeah, so what do you? So now, what do you think about like the federal government issues? I think the problem with with Justin Trudeau is that he bought all of the vaccines all at once. Like he bought like I think thirty six million, right? Like, no, didn't he buy? Did he buy it? Didn't he buy like billions of vaccines? No. He bought Wait. enough for every uh, Canadian citizen, I think. No, I thought he bought billion, like a one, like one billion or something. Wait, let me search it up. Uh. Yeah. I might be wrong on this, right? But my point being, he bought way too much, and that I think that caused Pfizer to delay the orders. Oh yeah, he got, he got the vaccine like two days ago. The first dose. That's actually pretty good. Dude. A lot of people would say, oh, he's from the top, he's being greedy. But, like, it's kind of a good leader position, you know, to prove that the vaccine is safe. Because a lot of people are pretty, like... <laughs> There's, like, some people that think they're woke, right? Like, so that the vaccines are just not, not fake. Really. It, makes, just... it makes sense, dude, because, like, Pfizer, they're actually, like... Oh, he got AstraZeneca, really... though. All right, that's fair. Yeah, he got like, apparently in AstraZeneca. I don't know. Someone told me this the other day, but apparently in AstraZeneca, um, it's like a higher chance of getting blood clots. Oh, uh, really? I'm yeah. Gonna... Not bad. Right, uh, right. Pfizer. <laughs> Pfizer is like is a really shady company, dude. So like it kind of. Is your brother in your room with you? He just left. All right. Wait, are you in the way? Are you in your basement? No, I'm in my room. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I thought you were gonna be there, cause yo, remember those projects, man? You'd be, you'd be in the basement. I'll be like, in... yeah. Honestly, yo, those those projects were honestly the best thing in the quad master. We took it for granted, man. The best thing in the come on. Dude. La last quad master, yeah. Okay, la that's last quad master, but like I had tech with Mr. Webb. Right. Oh yeah, for Not you, for yeah, for you, yeah. But I had chemistry. <laughs> Not last quadmester. It was like two quadmesters ago. Oh, I, I, I said, I said that was the best thing of last quadmester. I didn't say that's the best quadmester I've ever had. What's the best of all quadmesters, on your opinion? Probably the second one. So, I, had, I had, I had, I had CS and like introduction to psychology, but the thing is, like, I, I didn't really like those courses as much, but. It was so, it was so chill. I, I didn't really have a lot of work to do. I had a lot of time in my hands, and the and the work wasn't hard. So, like that's what it is. Now I had the web course, and uh, 
the thing with the web course was that uh, what's it called? It was pretty difficult. Not in like the way math is difficult, but like in the sense that you actually had to think to solve the problems of the class. But that what made it enjoyable was that everyone was really chill. Just like you can actually talk in that class and it wasn't awkward at all. Like the classroom was loud. You didn't feel like you were like, you would get shamed for talking. It was, it was amazing. Oh yeah. Okay. So sorry to interrupt that. So what were you going to say about Pfizer and stuff? I said Pfizer as a company is like really shady. Like if you ever check their like company history, they have a lot of lawsuits on them. Because oh, they see. like, they frequently like lie about what they put in their vaccines. So I think it makes sense that people don't trust them specifically. Have you seen like the but, countries? No, the countries that have the highest vaccination percentage. Yo, are you still there? No. Why is that? Is is there anything shocking there? Or? Oh, okay. I think I think my thing cut out. That's why. Never mind. Oh, you haven't. Okay, so can you guess which which country is number one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I knew it. Something shocking was gonna happen. Just, What's just number? guess, just guess, just guess what? Probably like a Scandinavian country or Switzerland. The, oh yeah, that's not Scandinavian, is it? But it's actually. Oh, I'm not sure on this. I'm. Th I think it's the United States. But I'm. I'm searching it up just to be. Just to make it clear. Wait. Yeah, but like you wouldn't be surprised if it was uh, USA because USA has a lot of stuff. Wait, let me, is, is it highest percentage or highest population of vaccine takers? No, high, no, highest vaccination, like, percentage. They have the highest? Wait, 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 what? Yeah, yeah, vaccination rates in the world, yeah. USA is 39.6 as of April 19, so it's probably more now. You know what? That actually doesn't come to me as, like, a shock. Everyone gives the United States a bad rip, you know, everyone says they're all idiots, but honestly, like, that's just like a small minority, dude. The U.S. has like the most innovators in the world. Okay, right? and I actually, that was more of like the populist, the populist, the popular countries, right? USA has the highest one, but in yeah. actuality... In actuality, it's actually this country called Sy. I don't know how to say Sy shells, because per one hundred people, apparently, oh, so they have a, they only have one hundred twenty one thousand total vaccinations, right? But per one hundred people, it's one twenty five. That's why I asked: Is it like percentage based or population based? I meant I meant for based on the popu popu popular countries. But okay, so second is Israel. Of course, obviously. and the third third is UAE, and then San Marino's is number four, and then Chile's number five. Yeah, I'm surprised like the Western countries didn't get their hands on the vaccine first. That's kind of what you'd expect. I'd expect Israel to be up there, yo. They have. Of course, Israel's up there, right? That that did not come as a shock, but I'm surprised Chile got it for like the UK and Canada and you know Australia. UK is UK's eighth. They're right. They're right above US. You know who doesn't need the vaccines though? In all honesty? Australia, yeah. New Zealand, dude. Australia, yeah, kind Austra of and New Zealand. No, both of them. Like New Zealand doesn't really need it a lot, but. Australia is also also in the same boat. Really, they're all kind of makes sense. They are isolated from the whole world in a way. No, but they they didn't really they did it, they did it through uh they did it through isolation, not vaccination. Like they they dealt with this problem by isolation. That's good. And I don't know why the world governments don't follow by their example. You know, they did it right because they're not and really isolated. And there's more, like, not not businesses, but there's more, 
relevance Australia. in the other stuff in the other countries i mean like in europe in europe and in and uh, north america there's a lot of stuff going on what are you gonna say australia what i think australia has business going on it's yeah, i know i know i'm not saying i'm not saying they're completely they're not they're completely like third world countries and they're broke but i'm saying they like they're not usa they're not well like they're not israel they're not they're not all these different countries but like you said, what's, what was it? Like a really small country got first place. So I think that argument is kind of flawed. Wait, let me see where... I think I know where it is, but... What was the name of that country you said that got first? Okay, but that was an island too. Yeah, but like you said, what's it called? Because they don't have business, then there's no reason for them to get the vaccine. What was the argument? I said no. I said um, you know, my, your argument was that why don't the why doesn't the world world follow by their example? And I said, but the world is not isolated like these countries. I think we both understood. I All think right, we're both. I, I think we're both. I, yeah, I think I did cut off. I think we both just don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> we're just arguing for no reason. Story of my life, dude. <laughs> All right, wait, so yo, more about school. Do you like the school year? Yes or no? I don't like any school year. Same. But that's just be personal. You yeah, know? same. I honestly don't really like a lot of school years. But yeah, we all wish. Do you wish? Do you wish some stuff would go back to like early quarantine? Like no school at all or like we're no, kind of living that right now no no like early quarantine like we yeah there it was literally like the first two weeks no nah, i don't think so actually because i forgot everything i learned there and despite how much i hate school i still think we gotta learn mm -hmm, yeah. i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out now because we're almost kind of the same way with lockdowns but I want like a balance between not having to talk to people and also learning in class. Well, that that's kind of this year though. You're learn. Well, I yeah, we're not really learning in class, but you are learning something, and you and you re re you're really not talking to anyone. I just don't want to be in public, to be honest. Apparently, it's less about apparently for next year, right? Everything is gonna go back to normal. I honestly think that won't happen just because at the at the rate we're going at and what Doug Ford does he keep he he keeps on doing the like the, the lockdowns and stuff. But I do, do. Do you want everything to go back to normal, like back how it normally was, like last year, last school year, and then, and then yeah, like, so you want our last year in high school to be our. First year, not, like that lifestyle again. Do you want it to be like that? Yeah, it, yeah, I prefer that much more than how it is now. But I'll keep it real. It probably won't affect me as much as it affects a lot of other people. How? How is, how is that? Right? Me personally, I haven't took it high school seriously at all. Right? People say it's supposed to be the most important year of your life. But honestly, I've just been minding my own business. I'll go to class. I'll go home. That's that was my life basically. The thing is, the thing is, right, is that we. I, I honestly thought that I would take grade eleven and stuff seriously, right. But the thing is, the way we're learning, and the, like how the work that's given to us, I, I kind of, not have to slack, but it's it's just made me more lazy just because I, I, I there's so much work given to me, and they're all do it like the same day. So, I have to like remember he remember in biology, right? Yeah. Yeah, biology. There was so much work given to you that you didn't really care. Like a lot of times, you didn't really care about how you answered it. You just cared about just finishing it. Exactly. Yeah, that actually scares me. If we're gonna, because now I feel like I can't recover. I think I could. Cool. I think I could, but I don't know if I'm gonna be. Cause, but the thing is, we're gonna go back to school. We're not gonna be in this quadmester thing. So each day, 
we're not going to have a lot of work, yeah, but we're going to be busy with three other classes. So instead of just, like, we're probably going to do, like, what, uh, let's say for, for a, a whole school day, right? For now, for now, if we just learned one lesson in class, that's like a dream. Like, that's just a one lesson in class. You have the entire day, you have the entire school day, you're just learning one lesson, and you just practice that one lesson. And then later, and then, but then when it's going back to, when we're going back to school, then it is, you have that one lesson, but then you're busy with three other classes that also have like probably one lesson. And what's my main gripe though? It's like, yeah, obviously you have more time to practice the material, but I don't, I think I've damaged my memory capacity like forever. I don't think I can ever like memorize for a test ever. Yeah, that, that's also what I was thinking. I said, yo, what, what will happen if I go to test? Because I don't have, I would not have my notes with me. And that's how, how that's how I've been doing it for the past ye year. COVID has conditioned us to to be way too comfortable. I hope like the school has. Like, I, I, but a bit a bit of that is technically on us because we we, we really didn't ha really need to look at our notes for our like to write tests and stuff. We just wanted to do it because we were just kind of lazy. Here's the thing, right? We're not. Everyone likes to blame adults, right? But we're kids, so I think we get a pass. We should be blaming the school system for not giving us any incentive. Also, also a lot of a lot of this stuff just came. So and like they weren't expecting it, we weren't expecting it. So like that's why when, but if but when, they, when, they, since we are kids, right? If we just see an opportunity that for just just for to make something easier, we'll do it. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But like even universities, they gave like incentives to memorize. Like they're what's called this is actually a big story. I want to touch on this. Uh, a bunch of schools were forcing students to like install spyware into the, their computers to make sure they weren't cheating on tests. And a lot of people were not comfortable doing. It. But like yeah, because even, <laughs> even though that's really shady, right? Forcing them to install spyware. Like it went right to the kernels, you know. If you none of you know anything about computers, a kernel is like the deepest level of security in a computer. So it was like right there. Yeah, no, so yeah, so it, it gets it gets into like the privacy, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> imagine imagine you just you're just doing your test and the teacher just emails you in the middle is like, what is this in your history? <laughs> <laughs> they probably it was it was like a self writing program, so the teacher didn't have access to it, but like the, the program knew whenever you were cheating. Mm -hmm, yeah. The thing was, no one was comfortable with it because obviously, because of the amount of personal personality there is to it, anyone who got access to the software can easily hack you now. Yeah, it's kind of like with Valorant right now. Wait, we say their, that again. It's kind of like with Valorant right now with their Vanguard uh, anti cheat. It goes right to like the security of the computer right in the kernel yeah. so a lot of people don't like that because if vanguard ever gets hacked and i'm pretty sure it's owned by a chinese company anyway so they're probably stealing it, your information anyways but they have Man. access to everything and wait where was this that was just, this was in university i was talking about uh valorant it's, oh uh, no yeah. no 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 that that the, the, the other one is yeah the, the other one is yeah university wow man hopefully by the time we're in university that's why uh, i kind of wanted to get back to normal exactly but at the same time like yo it, it's gonna be a lot tougher to get into university because everyone every like it's the thing is the grades for now like the grades are not really the problem because like, a lot of people have the grades to enter like whatever program they want to go into right everyone really yeah. has anyone can really has the grades it just really depends on like who they want and like what you really have like not on your resume it's just like what you really have to yourself as a person that they, they just want or not we're blessed that we're minorities universities really likes minorities dude their favorite types of people are like minorities, so we're blessed. I don't know. I don't know why that just kind of sounds weird. What you just said. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, right? 
<laughs> but like it's true, universities like they they really they like hold spots for minorities and immigrants specifically because like they really like having those. They like variety. Wait, but no, but, no, but if I'm going into university, I'm actually technically not a minority because I'm gonna be 18 next year. So. Yeah, we're we're not minorities. We're 18. <laughs> 18 that's, called being a, that's called being a minor. Minority means like you're the least in, you're like the lowest race in the group. Oh. Like okay, you're someone yeah. not free, you're a race not frequently seen. You're thinking minor. Okay, yeah, yeah, I probably was thinking that. But but, but you have the same point, dude. Technically, you wouldn't be a minor cuz you're Pakistani and UW has a lot of like South Asian. No, but also also people from different countries come to Waterloo. Yeah. Exactly. So they're going to pick them rather than us. If you're if what you're saying is true that they they want minority. They do. They have special reserves for immigrants. For immigrants. I'm not an immigrant. I was born here. I was raised here. No, that's what I'm saying. They have special spots for immigrants. So, you know, they have the advantage over us. Yeah. But it not at but, the same time they don't really because they have to do a lot and they're also known as international students, so they're gonna have to, have to pay triple the f the stuff the fees we have to pay if we were going to the same program as them. That's true. Like even like yo like I don't I I, I don't know why for some reason I think like a long time ago I thought I wanted to go to school in the U S right, but then when I realized the okay first of all their tuition is like two times more than ours and it's an American dollar so it's even more than that. And it's practically I would be, and I would be, I would be a, a known as an international student. Yet I live right there. I speak the same language. Would you? I'm pretty sure like Canada and U.S.'s relationship is close. No, to no. Point. I know that's my point. But the thing is, they're different countries. So I'd be known as an international student. So triple the fees, and. I'm gonna be living elsewhere, so I'm gonna have to worry about that more too. So you also, when you take that into consideration, it makes sense why they would want minor, the minor minorities, like immigrants and so. Of course, yeah, it's called greed, dude. Honestly, there's always no one ever does stuff for the kindness of their heart. <laughs> yup, yup. It's all who they want or what they want. But you know what? Sometimes that really does work in favor. How? For everyone. Like, uh, I'm I'm not sure if this is true or not, but apparently uh, Donald Trump, right, because he was beefing China, he, like, put sanctions on them for the Uyghur Muslim camp, right? Obviously, Trump does not care about Muslims. The Uyghurs, right? yeah. But it still kind of helps us because he hates China. And he put the sanctions on them for this. So it was like a win-win almost for him. Mm. Win for him, win for us. Yo, man. So that's why the I don't really care about the intent. I really just care about the action. Ah, uh, okay. All right, wait, wait, so, uh, yo, uh, you want to do that thing? You want to do the thing now? All right, let's club? do it. Let's do it. <laughs> what are we gonna go on, like hidden wiki or something? Uh, here. Let's let me close this. Yo, if for somehow this podcast blows up, right, and then they everyone just comes across this episode, like when I have that, like the twelve thousand, the twelve, the twelve k views and four k followers, and they just somehow cross cross upon this, I'm just gonna say one thing. There's no, I have no limits right now, so I'm doing yeah, you this. Have, you're, you're starting off, you know, you have no limits, you gotta do it. Yup. <laughs> All right. All right. What made, what made you, what made you come up with this exam? What made you with come up with this, like this idea, I mean, like you, think you just said like, oh, yo, let's just go on the deep web for this. I don't, the dark web isn't that bad. All, I know, I know, but it depends on where you're going on. The, yeah, the hidden wiki, the, the hidden wiki, Ar that's not that bad. Arguably, right, you will find more criminal activity in the surface web. 
like more like gore, you know? Probably. Stuff like car cartel killing videos, right? They're all on the surface web. None of them know how to, you know, use Tor. What you find in Tor is a lot of criminal stuff, right? Like drugs, child, uh... Yo, I'm gonna, uh, wait, I'll, I don't know, for some reason, right? You know how I'm a huge fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or how I used to be, right? Yeah. I started re-watching it, like, for the past oh. three days. How's it been? I feel like a child again. That's, that's always magical. Yeah, man, I feel like a child again. Even though I really know what's gonna happen, but, yo, I feel like a child again. I have all those memories of me just, it's Saturday morning, turning on the TV, sitting down. I was like eight or nine years old, like even seven probably. And then I would just watch it and go, wow, I wonder what's going to happen next. Dude, that's me with video games, honestly. Like, it was such a magical thing for me. Like, playing a game just genuinely makes me happy. Right. Honestly, yo, like for the past, I've, for like the past ten days, I've been, I've, I've, I've been, of course, doing Ramadan things, like yo, you know, the Korean of Quran, course. doing all these different, uh, being nice, I'm being, yeah, but I've also been watching, of course, Teenage Ninja Turtles and going on Twitter, and bro, man, those trolls, trolling on Twitter is so fun. And so how have you fun. been doing? Not, not fully, but like, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that recently. I lit. Anyways, I got Tor open. Go. All right, we're browsing the dark web. Don don don. Hopefully, you don't. We don't get hacked. First off, let's search up onion links. Wait, we're watching some Shrek related stuff. I mean, like, oh, yo! By the way, it it doesn't it doesn't no, show your it doesn't show it. It shows you. It just shows your icon. Uh, it's not showing the screen. Yeah, it's not showing on my the screen. screen. On my screen, it's showing it perfectly. Were you never seeing it? No, no it literally just shows your icon. Huh. That's weird. How? Huh. It just shows your icon. Here. Let me try this again. Can you see it now? No. It just shows your icon. Maybe it's a problem with your screen rather than mine. Cause what do I have to do? I'm not sure, honestly. Uh... Do I have to do this? Oh, oh, there we go. go. I have I to put. put I have to go on watch, watch screen. screen. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. I got it. You got it. All right. Press full screen also for the full cinematic experience. Oh, I'm, I'm on full screen. That's, That's what, what I have to do. do. I, have I have to go, go on full, full screen, screen and go watch stream, stream and then. Yeah, there you go. Mind. I, I rarely go on this app. So if you're laughing just because I don't know how to use Discord, it's because I rarely go on this app. And I know I have all those servers, but just because I get invited to those servers all the time. No, no scam, scam. Black, black market. market. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta find something. I'm finding a link list. Yeah. Basically. Onion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it, Tor. Tor is called the Onion Router. That's what Tor stands for. Yo, uh, yeah. If you know the history behind it, basically the CIA wanted to browse the internet anonymously. And the, the, the search, search of onions. onions. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over the hidden wiki, yo. That's my favorite, man. The hidden wiki, of course. The classic. The out of perspective, the classic. Alright. We're gonna go through the hidden wiki one by one till we reach the end. Alright. Let's first start with the Matrix.
Yo, everyone that's wa- if you're, anyone that's listening in Spotify, you're missing out. Just go on YouTube for this, yo. Oh, yeah, I've been t- I've been telling you this, right? You need an incentive to get people on YouTube. What do you mean I need an incentive? Like I need I like, need to promote it. I no not like you need a reason for people to go on YouTube instead of Spotify. Honestly, no, I'm okay because you're you're, you're sharing your screen and something. That's why I'm just going to say just watch them, but maybe we'll like watch this part on YouTube. But everything else, like, it's, it's a normal conversation. So we can go on, they can go on Spotify for that. Oh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin on free, my favorite. $75 for $500 card. Okay, okay fine. Go, go on, on, go on that, go on that link. Which one? The, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin on free. <laughs> I'm about to click this link and my computer's just gonna die. Uh, where is it? I lost it. Ah, uh, Bitcoin on free. Let's see this. Oh, I have to log in. Dude. I'm not making an account. Uh, I'm not going to Hidden Wiki. The Hidden Wiki is just, it's like the boring version. I need to go link list tour. They're just websites. Nah, not this one. There are these. Yeah, I think it's Tor Catalog. Okay, so let's have a conversation before we go on deep any further. So, Harun, how has how has Ramadan been for you this year? And it's uh, actually kind of ironic because we're talking about Ramadan, then we're out here on the deep web. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's yeah. actually much better than other years. You know, usually I get sick like for the whole month. But today, this month, it's only been the first day, and other than that, I'm completely fine. Hmm. I see. I see. Uh. I still haven't done much re- religiously, but I want to get to that, especially before Laylatul Qadr. Or even Ah Laylatul Qadr. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, what about you though compared to other Ramadan how is this one thing better religiously just maybe because I just have more time and honestly you know I, I actually really haven't done much apart from like religious because of course like I don't really eat a lot even when it's iftar and stuff all right, let's check out Dark Zone. The Onion. Hopefully, this will not <laughs> kill my computer. It won't. Well, how? It's, it won't kill your computer. I did not install a virtual machine or any what's it called encrypted hard drive yet. I was yeah. gonna do it, but I it was I end up not doing it because I wanted to get this done fast. This one's just a gift card site. Ironic, you can tell this is just like a surface web website because it's not using Bitcoin. Yeah. Any, any dark website, all they use is bits. Let's try. Let's for, let's try darkwebhackers.zone. Dot onion. Uh, it's right here. Hacking yeah, server. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. 200 euro. 220 euro. Telegraph hack. WhatsApp hacking. Go on that. Go on that. I think there might be some interesting stuff on that. It's at the cart. It's a sh- I job. Know, but... You're paying for the services. There's, I don't think there's any details on it. Yeah, it's just the... Uh... Let's just add the cart. 
rent a hacker. Ooh. <laughs> Every job How do you rent? Can imagine from Steve Jobs. Look at this. Rent a hacker. Hire a hacker for every job you can imagine, from DDoS to completely ruining people or destroying reputation of a company or individual. All right. How is that possible? <laughs> it's not. It's not. These suckers are going to get scammed, dude. Experienced like... hacker offering his services illegal. Ooh. Hacking in social engineering is my business since I was 16 years old. I never had a real job, so I had the time to get really good at hacking, and I made a good amount of money. Wait, 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 no, 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 repeat that, wait, so, okay, I never had a real job, so I had the time to get really good at hacking. Yeah. So he spent, okay, hacking and social is my business since I was 16 years old. Damn, man. <laughs> Out of all the things he did, he's like, oh, yeah, I need to hack. But this is you all. This is, this is probably like a bot. This is probably a bot. This <laughs> is probably this a bot. Yeah. You know this guy had a messed up childhood, dude. If he's like sixteen, trying to ruin people's lives with hacking. You know, like this guy was like simping, for, like she like often, so he destroyed her entire social media reputation. Yeah, yo, he probably got rejected at sixteen, and he's like, yo, I need to learn how to hack. I need to destroy any chance of her getting a job. <laughs> no, 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 yo, yo, this is the story. This is the story. A man walks up to the lady. The lady rejects him. The reason why? She's a gold digger and says, you don't have a job, so you don't have money. <laughs> I don't have to see that. So he takes those words to heart for the rest of his life. I never had a job. I never had a job. I never had a job. I'm not going out with you because you are not a professional hacker. You are not from a crappy Eastern Europe country and have scammed people for 50 euros. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a professional computer expert for 1,500 euros and I have a legal job. Oh, really? So why don't you? So stop reading if you don't have a serious problem spending some cash at. Alright, let's check the small job, for example, email and Facebook hacking and selling Trojan subscription to 250 euros. Or 0 0.006 Bitcoin. Right? That's how you know this is real, right? He's asking for Bitcoin. Yeah. Medium large job, ruining people, espionage, website hacking, DDoS for big website. 500 euros. Large job, which takes a few days or multiple smaller jobs. DDoS for protected sites. Let's go okay. with that one, yo. Let's go with that one. I'm not buying this. Dude. I know you're not buying. Do you even have euros or bitcoins? No, you don't. Yeah, what, what am I going to do when I press buy now? It's just going to get me to buy it. Hire a hitman. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yo, Dude, this is honestly fun. I can't wait to ruin my computer. <laughs> I'm gonna find like a Trojan dude right here pretty soon. Okay. Legal cases overview. Is this sick? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yo, did you hear about the story about a, a girl that hired hitmen to kill her parents? And they actually did. Well, what do you mean? Did they actually or no? No, uh, yeah, a, a, a kid, a, 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 a kid. No, you, you've never heard that story? No. All right, and actually, okay, it isn't like a popular story, but I, I remember, it was like a few years ago when I was so intrigued by like how a, silly, a serial killer's mind worked, right? Not even serial killer. So this was the story. So this Asian girl was a, she was like a straight A student, right? Yeah. Like the usual, yeah. But her parent and her parents are like tiger parents, right? You know what that means? What? Tiger parents means that like they want their kid to only focus on their education and like they the, the pa uh, basically the parents makes the child's decision. All right. So this, the parents so like from day one say I want you to go to like I want you to go to a good school. I want you to go go to Harvard. They don't make the kid and want to do anything. But they just want they just want the they just want the kid to do what they want to do. 
All right. Yeah. But yeah, you know that, yeah. So then, yeah. And then, I don't know, some grade A graduation went by. And then this girl lost out on like some some award and the parents were disappointed. They said, come on, you couldn't do this. You couldn't do this. And then. And then, yeah, and later in high school, in like the first two years, like grade nine and ten she was she was like good to top out everywhere but then something happened where she's like oh i can't take this anymore i hate my parents i hate everything else and then she finished her high school she finished her high school stuff but then the thing is she was so she like she never she she was so well what do you call it not I don't even know how to explain it to be honest. It has been a long time since I've heard this story. Like she just hate, hated everything her parents did, and then, and she wanted like her own life. But then this is what happened. So she she but then she would never like keep up with her high school education. So then she made like a fake diploma when she was supposed to graduate. Like she actually made a fake diploma, and then that was enough to convince her parents that she graduated high school, and then, she dropped out of course, and then. Later on, she made a fake application, like a fake, like, what do you call it? A fake application to university and made a fake acceptance letter. And then the parents were so happy because they didn't know like what she was doing. Are you still listening? Yo, are you still listening? <laughs> Bro, I was saying this this entire time. And you're just not saying anything. I'll probably cut out. Wait. It was fake passports. Let's go to something called Vendetta World. That's name is Yo. Oh, yo. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, never off. mind. Yeah, yeah, I got cut off. All right, Vendetta World didn't work. Let's go to Changolia. Yeah, I think I'm I think I disconnected, man. Seen probably from the tour, dude. We're probably getting hacked as we. But uh, but I'm how? Trying to find how it's your computer. Oh, my computer's fine. Probably because we're talking to each other. Talking to each other, yeah. <laughs> Again, man. You know, I'm trying to find sites that aren't as obvious with the gimmick, right? And more what's called cryptic, right? But uh, yeah, keep going. I kind of forgot what part you were on in the story. You said uh, she made a fake application for university, yeah, and then that, and then she also made a fake acceptance letter. There's a website called Pedo Box. I'm not going on the. Don't, don't go on that. You're probably it's gonna on, find some on, weird. It's, it's, <laughs> You're probably gonna go with some weird. Yeah, go to Hakuna, you know, go to Hakuna Matata. Oh, that's, that's what's called, it's offline. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, wait, do you know, um, do you know EDP 445? Yeah, dude, Yeah, you he, saw that? Yeah, he's a pedo, dude. I saw that. Man, that, it, I, you, uh, so I heard a lot of Eagles fans, you know how he was an Eagles fan, right? Yeah. A lot of Eagles fans are saying, oh yeah, we don't claim him anymore. That's the least of their words, bro. You know what? McDonald's should say we don't claim him. Yeah. <laughs> but yo, it's honestly kind of not, I, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not saying he should have done it and stuff. I'm saying, yo, it's kind of sad that like, yo, he's like this. I, he's kind of an idiot, dude. Who would jeopardize their career over like a 13 year old? <laughs> and like yo like how what what and chat the image what board at the end of the universe <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as i saw, saw the photos, photos on the left with the enemy stuff, stuff. Oh. Like, yo, what the hell? <laughs> i think this is the chan part the story so far in 2015 Chan was created this has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move then how is it still running, running up? up uh what Yo, Yo, wait, 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 wait hold, hold up, hold up. up. I, I opened up my window, window and now there's voices outside. outside. 
Oh, what's happened? I open my window, window and I hear like like, like five, five guys talking outside. And I feel like they're like right behind, like right outside my house, and then they're all like cussing and stuff. I don't know if you can hear them. You want to go to the image board at the end of the universe? Explore Let's go. This. Let's go. Let current top board. Osneet. Osneet. No, 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 no. It, it might, might be, be something inappropriate. Might pop up. It says nothing. All right. Okay. okay. It says. It. I got. Oh. Go. Yeah. Don't sign it. Don't sign it. Don't sign it. It says nothing illegal under U.S. law, so I'm pretty sure we're. Yeah. So yeah, this is, this is fine. I'm pretty sure this is just for people to come to be private. A lot of dark. Yo, remember, remember, remember when, when you and Luca were talking about how? Yeah, if, if you're, you're listening, listening to this, this I, I, I know it's a very dumb topic, but Haruna and I, we, we talk, talk about these things, things a lot. So, so didn't you say pedophilia would be a part of the LGBTQ community? Yeah, like they what's it called? They tried to do it at some point, I think. Which is really dumb. Bro, 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 I, I saw, saw this. this. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw this. I saw, I saw this thing yesterday. It was uh, Batman, Batman and Batgirl, Batgirl, right? Yeah. Batgirl, Batgirl 15. Bro. And they're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you they know? hit it like the killing joke. I know. I know. That's, that's what, what I, that's what I'm referring to. <laughs> is she, is she 15 in that movie? No, no. no search up how old is Batgirl. Batgirl. No, do it right now, do it right now on a different tab, like right there. Alright, on the dark web. <laughs> is that girl in... No, no, just search this. You gotta, you gotta specify the killing joke, because that's the movie they... They mingle, so to speak. So, only specifically, how old is Barbara killing joke? Actually, Actually yeah, you're right. right. What, what if it was, was taken out of context? context? Exactly. She might be 15 in like the comics, right? But like in the killing joke, she's 18. 18. They yeah. said 25 years later she gets her revenge. All right. Okay, wait, wait, let, let me go on my phone. Let me go on my phone. Let me go on my phone. All right, all right, all right. There's just there's just a <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not even kidding. kidding. The first, first thing I, I, I searched on how old is the Batgirl, like the, the suggestion was in the killing joke. It's like, like everyone's, everyone's probably searching for that now. Oh, there's just a there's just a place called Satan. Yo, let's see. Yo, let's it's see. This, yo, let's see. Yo, let's see where he's locked up. Satan. That, but it's <laughs> offline, so we can't. <laughs> Yo, let's, let's see where he's off. Let's, let's see where, where he's locked up, man. Truth and light, dude. It's all fine. For those Maybe of you who don't understand, understand uh, in, in Ramadan, Ramadan Shaitan locked up. It's it's all fine. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, she, so was eight, she was eighteen. She was eighteen. There's so many like interesting sites here, but they're always like locked up. Yeah, she, she was eighteen. 18. Yeah, it says she was eighteen. All right, Batman was pretty close. <laughs> Jeez! Bro, what, the <laughs> what, what the hell was that? What was that? There's just a page called Tinfoil. Mm -hmm. uh, dude, if only these were like online. A lot of these are off, which is like it kills me on the inside because I'd love to see the web page old friends. <laughs> <laughs> Wall Street Market. Yeah, let's let's go to a normal site for. I don't know German. Oh, here the crap platform and the criminal content have been seized by the federal police. They took down the website. <laughs> And then there's Satan again. There's just a website that just says Satan. But it's offline. I want to see where shit's on. It's locked up. Like, it, I genuinely... <laughs> Dragon Souls. Where Dragon Soul live. Right? It's offline. It, it breaks my heart. 
Okay, yo, I think I, I don't know how long how long have we been recording this. I'm not sure. All right, one more. There's I think it's been an hour. Go. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over for a few more, and then we're gonna end it off. Yeah. All right. The Joker buzz. Joker, Joker buzz. Joker buzz. It's six months, but the Joker. Oh, it's opening. Oh, oh is it an auction? Is <laughs> it an auction? <laughs> Two data sets for sale. First deputy. Yo, no, 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 no. Read, read what it says. For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed. Bible in a new... Chapter 4, Article 22. The first international exchange... Oh! They're selling information, dude. That's what it is. Wait, first, they're selling information like you... Like, they're selling, like, the first deputy governor of the bank. Oh, like, they're selling okay. information about, like, the Russian bank minister, right? Interest archives of information of organization Euro region Donbass for a period two thousand ten. This is this is like it's obviously a scam, right? But like if it were real, copy yeah. of e, copy of Kiev city mayor email. This is like this is like top notch information. Dude. This is twenty Bitcoin. This is fifteen thousand dollars. How much? How much is that in Bitcoin? I'm not sure. It's probably, probably like a like zero point zero zero zero. No, 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 no. It's like zero point three Bitcoin, I think. Bitcoin's like sixty thousand right now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like zero point three, zero point four Bitcoin. You know what? Can we talk about Bitcoin for a second? Yeah, fine. Real quick, I I don't think cryptocurrency will ever be like a legitimate currency. Ever. Yeah, isn't? Uh, okay, well, there is a lot of um, layers to it, right? Because no, I'll tell you why. All right. Yeah, why? Okay. First off, it's crypto, right? So it's crypt, it's encrypted, which means criminal enterprises like what we see here in the dark web can use Bitcoin for criminal activity. And it's also really good for money laundering. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Now, why would banks purposely allow currency good for money laundering? Well, yeah, that's one. That's 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 one thing to look at. And another thing, right? It's not based off of anything. It's based off of, like, market share. And, like, the owners of Bitcoin can divide it as many times as they want. So the currency is practically valueless. It's only valued based off of the market share. Yeah, and the market and share it's, it's, really only, it's really only used for this, for this type of stuff we're doing. Exactly. Right? Illegal criminal activity. And also, the market share differs per country. So Bitcoin could be really cheap in, like, Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> but <laughs> in the U.S., it's expensive as hell. So I think, I think because I, there's more, there's more to it in the U.S. than like whatever. But it, else. it's never gonna be a international currency though, as the creators want it to be because of those reasons. Yeah. And okay, yo, I, I think. Do you think? Do you think we should end it off here? Uh, yeah, if you think so. All right, yo, let's go to one more. Go to. Go to the cocaine reference. <laughs> this is where's, where's cocaine? 227. Okay. Con- let's go, go on this. Concerned cocaine. Line. Oh, I didn't read that. Black and white cards index. Uh, We'll go on one more and then we'll... Here, let's make this easier on ourselves. I can't control G. This is AIDS. You do, do control F and then online. It's not not with Tor. Tor is... Oh yeah, you can't. It's not as different. Uh, let's go to. We'll go to one more. There's one called the Alliance, but it's offline. Yeah. Jeez, bro. The, all the good ones. Wait, are wait, offline. wait, wait, wait. Go to. Wait, I think I saw something down. Wait, go, go down a little bit. Ukrainian community. Where is this? You, you, sixty-three. UK, Ukrainian community. All right, let's go. Let's see. Private browsing. Check. 
Oh, this isn't Ukrainian. We probably won't understand it. Okay, I go back. Go. <laughs> Let's go one more. One more. One more. I. I. I, I okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Wait, Wait, people's, people's drugs. Actually, oh, yeah, 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 let's go with that. Let's go with that. It's online, online too. That one, 72, 72, yeah. Buy cocaine speed. Let's go. <laughs> this should this should be good, man. <laughs> nothing should, nothing else should pop up. Heroin, cocaine, ecstasy, speed, cannabis, prescriptions, Bitcoin, and services. Notice how these are like all drugs, and then Bitcoin and services both. <laughs> I want to make some what? free BTC. How is that possible? <laughs> Tell others about this shop and earn five. That's pretty smart, dude. You're like. Wait, wait, scroll down, down, scroll down. And you earn 5% of every purchase they make. The scroll heroin down. we offer comes direct from importers with no. Wait, wait, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Hmm. Grand opening special, five full grams of heroin. Number four, that's 300. That's, that's USD, so that's like 500 Canadian. Dude, I know heroin is that expensive. Five grams. You didn't five think, I, I, thought, I, knew, I thought heroin would be kind of more expensive too, to be completely honest. Not because isn't heroin like the, the, how do I say this in English? Like the loser's drug, you know? Mm. They call it, they, they, it's either heroin or meth. They call it the poor man's cocaine. I think, I think it's meth. I don't think yeah, heroin yeah. is that. But like, even heroin is, people consider it disgusting. Yo, I, yo people actually buy it from me. Yo, the like two of them are sold out. I'm not sure if this is real. Since the programmer could have just done this so that, you know, it looks like they're making money. So people get more, yeah, people get kind of more desperate, like, if they want it. It, it makes them look more legit. Mm -hmm, yeah. What you should do is get your drunky friends. Tell them about this. Tell your drunky friends about this. If they want heroin, cocaine, ecstasy, speed, cannabis, right? Give them the link here. Right? Log yeah, in send the link to the chat. <laughs> Log in and all that, right? And then, if it's fake and they get scammed, yo, you look at the look at the look look at the slogan at the top: father, mother, brother, sister, all shop at the people's drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 you know the bears and bears? Yeah. Father, mother, sister, and brother. You know, that's the thing. <laughs> Just add bears to this. Wait, the people's drugstore pride ourselves and offering best quality product at competitive prices making every effort to go above and beyond when it comes to customer satisfaction but listen dude you give this to your your donkey friends right if they get scammed no problem if it's not a scam and they actually get heroin in the front door you get yo, five if yo, yo, I, yo, this is, okay if this if, if this video doesn't blow up right and if i don't know this video it's just if the, my channel blows up right that this is for sure getting demonetized <laughs> because they're showing this <laughs> That's and, we're, and we're giving the link too. <laughs> you want? Should I just send you this link? Here? No, 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 no. You have. You'd have to log in to. I know. YouTube, and this would be like your affiliate link, if you know affiliate marketing. All right. Okay. Yeah, so I think I think that's a wrap for today. We we get a good laugh out of it. All right. Of course. All right. Yeah. So now if we got a part two. If you guys want a part two, please post in the comments. Post in the comments, Harun. That's it. Just write my name in the comments. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say this. We'll we'll name. We'll, we'll, what should we name this episode? Exploring dark web. <laughs> yes. Actually, just call it. Just call it deep web. Exploring don't even, deep don't web. Even, don't even give it like the normal like all facts no cap podcast episode. Just call it a deep web. I know I I don't do that. I'll just call this episode one Deep Web. Nah, nah, nah. just call it Deep Web. No, no, because no, no, we can have a series. No, we 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 can have a se we can have a series. It's just you and me. Right. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. You just call call the video Deep Web, right? And then make the description: All facts, no caps, podcast episode forty nine. 
part one deep web exploration. Like make the description the actual title and just make the title deep web. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll go. And then and then for part two, we'll go deep web part two. Same thing. The sec deep rise of the deep web. Give it like a movie sequel title. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 and then and then we're gonna go. The prime of deep web, the best of deep web, and then we're gonna go the downfall. Sadly, deep web compilations. <laughs> watch or watch Mojo.com top ten deep web. All right, yo. So, yo, is it good to have you on, Haroon? Of course. If you guys want a part two, just write in the comment section. Yeah. Deep. No, Haroon is deep. Uh, Harun is <laughs> TV. Okay, so yeah, okay, it's good to have you on, Harun. Man, long time no talk. All right, yeah. So if this is if you guys enjoy this, yeah, make sure you keep up with this pod. And I'm Harris Ricard, and this is the All Facts No Cap.